now they're coming down in the basement. And we're stuck in the basement. Who, but who's in the basement? Me. Mm -hmm. Me. A fiery rose, iron bolt, and invisible lightning. Okay. Bell. Someone is... But someone wasn't down there, right? No. Yeah. Everyone went. He no, not... No. He, he, her and the... Uh, he got unconscious. Because he didn't have his character sheet. And then she just took Ronnie out right. of the house. So he, he, he's, he's conscious now. And you took Ronnie outside. Yeah, we both. Yeah. And then um, him right. and him are invisible and I'm going to die. If I don't do something good about it. Okay, if you're going to die, you might as well just die right now. <laughs> we are in the basement. Yeah. I can just imagine it right now. What state are you guys in right now in the basement? Like, Have like, you turned into a mouse? I mean, what? what? Invisible. You're, you were yourself. You weren't invisible. Yeah, they yeah. were both invisible. Okay, you're invisible, and you hear footsteps coming down and some <laughs> growling. You two are outside with Ronnie. Yeah. No, yeah. No, I'm invisible too. You're invisible down there, and she's visible in the basement. What did you see on the computer? Do you remember that? Um, I think it was a little information about the... I know, but I remember the we leaking, The leaking. Uh, the James the leaks? Yeah. The WikiLeaks? <laughs> what leaks? About... What, what were the leaks about? About um, the... the wait. James Bay Project, oh, yeah. right? Information about James Bay on the computers. All right. And then we took the CD. And you took the CD? Okay. So, uh, what you gonna do? I'm giving you uh, 30 seconds to decide before he gets downstairs. I'm gonna crawl through the little door that was there. Okay, you have to open the... Let's see if you can open that thing. Without... Without... Please no don't noise. Without... Please don't Without... anybody hearing her open I have no karma. There What's you your agility? Good, uh, 37. Okay. I get it open. Oh. Close to. And. Do I get it open? Do I get it open? What are you doing down there? Mm -hmm. Says Sabertooth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, bro. All right, thank you. You too. Um, Sabertooth looks at you. What are you doing down here? Dodge, dodge, dodge. Dodge what? I mean, he I just comes think... running after you. Now I'm going to dodge. All right, he's going to try to grab you. Zero nine. <laughs> and he goes right over you like this. <laughs> no, but he smashes to something else, though. Right? Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> Takes a he, lot. No, he just flies right to the corner. <laughs> Alright. Are you going to do a clockwise? She can do, she can go, we'll go this way. Okay. So, do you want to do something? Yes. Alright. I'm going to use, I'm going to float up, up next to the ceiling. On my jetpack. The basement, the basement. <laughs> uh, there is a small ceiling. Yeah. We'll probably get me. Well, then I don't know what to do. <laughs> Ooh, uh, I got something to do. No, she has to think. I don't know what I, to do. Okay, she forfeit. She just, she's just standing here. <laughs> she can't at believe she blocked Okay, what it. you gonna do? Me? Yep. Uh, can I do two powers at the she's same time? Her. She's outside. They're not in the basement. But can I do two powers at the same time? Uh, is that a power? To do two things at the same time? No. You can only do one then. Then I have nothing. I was going to use my invisibility to walk up behind Saber. Too. Well, you are invisible. That's what you told me. No, but I want but I want to use my electric control on Saber. Too. Your electric control? Yeah. Okay, Even what does your electric control do? I don't write about it, but I but I still want to be invisible. Well, okay, but electrical control is a power that you control the light. That's what you said. Yeah, I mean we have to we have to we we can't assume that 
Electrical control. This power does not allow the hero to throw lightning bolts. But if the hero has an available power source, he can deliver a shock through his touch, causing equal damage to the power rank number. So if you want to connect with something to charge yourself up and then touch him to electrocute him, you can. Is but, that what you want? But I want to still be invisible. Yeah, you could. All right, I will allow you to stay invisible for that. Okay. Isn't a saber So what are, where are you going to get your electrical, what's your electrical source? Hmm? My, but it does 40 damage. Okay, but what are you using for your source? Where are you getting the electrical electricity from? Are there lights in the basement? There's a light in the ceiling. Can I use the computer and the light to take the power? You can only touch one thing at a time. Information. I'll take the light. You, okay, so you try to reach for the light. Let's see if you can get it. It's kind of high. Please roll high. Please What's your agility? My agility is good. Ten. All right. Wait, I want to use some of my karma. Okay, so how much karma are you going to use? Twenty. So add twenty to your roll, and then right now subtract twenty karma. Fifty-six. Let him do the math. Now that you told me, it didn't make a difference. So erase. This is your pencil. Fifty-six. Sorry, don't erase that. Just put underneath it fifty-six. Yeah. Good. Okay. Fifty-six. Okay. Actually, do do erase that. Oh, you're my brother. Seventy-six. Say erase that, that if he can join the playing club. Well, I don't see him. That's a brother. If he wants to join. He has to learn how to play. Can't learn if he's not watching. But he has to take the test. Yeah. So. So now your roll is going to be what? Adding 20 to... I still, yeah. did, I still didn't roll. Oh, sorry. Uh, 65. So that That's means 75, 85. 85. And good. Okay, so you reach up and you touch the electric bulb and he's laying on the ground. Now you're charged with electricity. And I'll let you try to touch him. Okay. Well, in fact, there's no, there's no even, since he doesn't see you, you touch him. So how much damage does it do? Forty. Forty points of damage. Wow. Wow. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hold on a minute. No, 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 no. You. Okay. You can't talk. If you talk to him, Sabretooth is gonna hear you. So don't talk to him. All right, hold on a minute. Oh, no. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Saber. Is it saber or saber? Saber. Oh, saber. Like a saber, you know, a sword. But is, or like the no, is is saber tooth that big, humongous yellow guy? No, that's the thing. <laughs> um. <laughs> ah! And he turns. He's like. Looking around, ah, ah, and you're standing here, still, <laughs> still staring at him. Okay, what you gonna do? I'm gonna use my mind control. I mean, my mind control to make him asleep again. Roll. Give him the dice. Please. Give him the dice. Roll, roll. Come on. I hope you don't miss it, cause something bad might happen. Forty-eight. And what's your rank for that? Excellent. Excellent. Mm. Well, if it's excellent, you wrote a 48. What did you want him to do? Go to sleep. So as you hear him, ah, oh. <laughs> no, and then and he, he collapses went, to the floor. I know, and then so then no one can hear him. And he's screaming. Well. He was still screaming from being electrocuted. He was in a lot of pain. So he's asleep. Sabretooth is asleep. Is Conspector asleep? No. Uh, well, right alive. now, you hear people saying, Anyone down there? This is the police. Yes. Wait, can I... I have a ball of yarn, so does that mean I can tie... Um, what's his name? Sabretooth? 
If, I guess. I don't know. Okay, well, I'm What's a ball of yarn? A ball of yarn. Oh. That will be strong. I bet you did ball no, of saber, yarn. No, saber, but saber tooth can just go like this. <laughs> Then he'll just break it. That will keep him. He's um. He's hypnotized to be asleep. So mind it will hold until he no, wakes up. But when control. he wakes up, he'll go like mind control. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Shad. Hey, yeah, you're not there. Again? You're not there. Be quiet. You're outside. And what about? Um, so you tying him up? Yeah. All right. So how much are you gonna tie him up? Like you're gonna use the whole ball of yarn or half a ball of yarn or? Half the whole bowl. Okay. Because I hold a lot. All right. So you're you're wrapping it up, wrapping it up, wrapping it up, and bite you the yarn to break it. Two. You can watch that camera. Yep. All right. Wait, wait. And she she rips it with her teeth, and <laughs> now saber tooth is tied up. Uh, is his feet tied? Police up? keep calling. Anyone down here? Yes. 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 All right. This is the police. We're coming down. Go ahead. Are you yes. gonna pull the bail? No, they're gonna put Constrictor. Wait, where's Constrictor? What is he doing? Right now, Constrictor is inside the uh, paddy wagon. What's a paddy wagon? <laughs> That's where we lock up the bad guys. It's a big van. Oh. And it looks like you found another one here. Yes. Who is this? Uh, actually, I make myself visible. No, actually, I, I move. I hide. Be. Are there any couches? Uh, there's a big table. Right. I crouch and then make myself visible and then I get up. So then. Okay. And, um, all right. So we thank you very much for for uh, finding these troublemakers. Do you know what they were doing in here? Yeah. They had, they had, in. Uh, um, nearly killed this agent named mm. Simon Hedley Brown. Oh, we heard we know about uh, Mr. Simon. Yeah, he he got cut up pretty bad. Yeah. Is this the person they cut him up? Yeah. Um, Sabretooth and Constrictor. Oh my. Oh, and we also found. Have you heard of the missing case of the little kid named Ronnie? Yeah, Ronnie's outside. Uh, two of your friends were with him. Yeah. Yeah, they, they found them. We, we really appreciate your help. We found them as a group. That is excellent. It looks like you guys are a good team. I hope we get to work with you again in the future. Yes. Um, well, I'll tell you what. We're going to clean up this area. Um, do you know where the owner of the house is? <gasps> she's in. She's gone. She's and she, well, we saw her in the sunroom. She was turned around looking at the window, but then in a few seconds, she disappeared. Oh, come on now. We really, <laughs> well, this, we have serious business here. If you're going to talk to me about ghost stories, you know, you can. I can call my friend. She has proof. We, me and her were in the room at that time. No, right, this. Well, well, right now, that's 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 a job for the, uh, the FBI uh, X-Files division, not the police. So maybe uh, if you call the FBI, let them know that you found a ghost. Maybe they'll uh, look into it for you. It's not a ghost. Meanwhile, this is a crime scene, and we have to seal this area off. So if you don't mind, uh, we'll be calling you later to get some uh, testimony. But uh, it'd be best for you to leave the premises. Mr. Eric, by Simon, did but how did Simon get to the um to the hospital? Did he take the Did he take the CPR? What's a CPR? It's like a it's like a special kind of hospital. Oh, before I leave, I don't ask for you to before find I out. leave, can I get another? I mean, no, I'm not talking to the police. Huh. Can I get another CD of the information of uh, the? Okay, you're talking to the police. No. I don't know. Like an act. Like. I don't know. You got to talk to the police. I don't know if you can get another CD. I have no idea. Right, uh, it's for you to figure right, it out. Uh, uh, we had the CD and it's and it was I it was like whatever. Roll the dice. Why? They understand you, Mr. So Eric. Why does he have to roll the dice? Because I'm the game master. Fifty. What's your reason? Uh, What's remarkable. Thirty. 
Mine's Something tells you that you probably shouldn't ask okay. the police about that because uh, they're looking for evidence. <laughs> okay. They're not going to let you take evidence out of the house. Okay. So, y'all going to leave or are you going to just stay there? We're just going to leave. And can we check out the hospital again? Yes. In fact, um, you get a call from uh, Optism. Who, who, whose phone number does he answer? Whose phone? He calls your phone. Oh. So, are you going to answer it? Yeah. You be all right. Be tough. At least it's not a broken finger. Um. Okay. Yeah, someone there. Hello, hello. Hey, hi. Oh, Fairy Rose. Uh huh. Listen, I got the good news. What's the good news? Simon is conscious. You should go to the hospital. Talk Why to him. Why is he conscious? Well, he's he's better, I guess. That's why. <laughs> oh, okay. He's able to talk. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll go so, um, um, check it out. See ya. Mm. All right. Mm -hmm. I right so you guys head to the hospital. Uh, we're going to go to the nurses. I'm going to... Uh, do you want... Are you going to come... Could you come with me to the nurses? Uh, Mr. Eric? She's daydreaming. <laughs> Ask someone else. Do you want to come with me to the nurse's office for the I security can. clearance to see Simon? Yeah. I can come. Yeah. Oh, I thought we were danger me. <laughs> I want to come. Okay. All right, so y'all go to the nurse's office. <laughs> oh, you guys again. <laughs> three, 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 three. You can go. <laughs> All right, so you're with... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. You walk into the... You want to walk into the, his room or? Yes. Yeah. Knock first. Yeah, knock. Knock first. Who is it? Um, uh, uh, your friends. Well, um, your friends. <laughs> yeah, come on in. I open the door. Oh, are you guys the the uh, people that were here earlier? Yes. yes. I don't think I was. I was. Uh, you were asleep. Yeah. Put to sleep. Medically. Yeah. So uh, what happened? So we heard that you came out of the Harris house and got all cut up. And oh, we were yeah. right there. What and we happened? defeated who the hurt you? The person who hurt you. Yeah. Saber tooth and constrictor. Well, I had made contact with the person who was leaking information about the construction plans of the James Bay project. I have a question for you. You have a question for who? I have a question for Simon. Okay, well, I'm answering uh, her, her question, and I'm Simon, so you can ask me. Um, I'm, uh, so, so it was about the James Bay Project, you know, and uh, some type of mysterious employer. This person worked for someone, but I couldn't find out who he worked for. Uh, so I disguised myself as that person. I went to the Harris house. And Sabretooth was there. And I think I think he could smell my scent that I was not who I was. And it was over with. I mean, him and that other fellow with the big arm, um, the snake arm, I knocked just him out. beat me up. Oh, you knocked him out? Good. Because these guys are in trouble. And they were up to no good. It, and Where are they now? Oh, They're in the oh, jail. 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 Very good, very good. Oh, and 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 they uh uh uh, uh cyber dude like uh, uh like uh, uh, uh he like can I even get <laughs> like or like cut me? Wow, that's pretty bad. That guy is nasty. Well, guys, um, nurse is here, oh. so I gotta oh. telling me I gotta go. Uh, Take a bath. Okay. When can we see you again? Well, if you have any questions for me, you might as well ask now because... Um, oh, I have a question. Yeah. Well, did you... What, did you get to go... Did you see the... Did you go to the basement? Because we saw the James Bay discs. 
Really? Yeah. I didn't make it that far. Oh. So that's where they had everything? Yeah. Wow. So I'm, and that's where we met uh, up with them. But when they, you and, went they, to the, and we went to the basement and some and they and we heard a roar on top of the roof and and they were running down the stairs. Sabretooth flew over fiery rose and um and he and I and I was invisible and I electric I jumped up and touched the light and I and I touched Sabretooth and he he was in bad he was in bad pain and mm. and and fire and um elect invisible lightning wow made him to sleep oh. Oh. and fiery rose tied him up with a with a with a cat yarn you guys must be some kind of superheroes or we something. Are, uh, yeah and we are so what, what what were you asking me young man oh. uh when you went to the Harris house did you see any old Lady, no, I didn't. We, You're talking about Mrs. Harris. Yeah, I looked her up. She owns the place. You saw her? Yeah, well, she's like a yeah, ghost. She, 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 she just whenever she, you look at her, she disappears. I heard that she died 20 years ago. <gasps> we are we, we, we keep on seeing, we uh, uh, keep on uh, seeing uh, her in the house. Something she weird about that house. Ghost. I think she's a oh. hologram. Uh, ghost, 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 ghost. Sam, did you, did you, uh, go upstairs and, like, oh, yeah. went to the hair, oh, yeah. Mrs. Harris' room? Because there was a kid named Ronnie that was missing. He, he didn't even... I didn't even know about any of that stuff. I he, did hear that there was a child, there's some children outside, and one, you guys found one of them. That was really heroic. Well, nurse is telling me I gotta go, so, see you guys later. Okay, I'm a nurse, then does that that mean I have a uniform, a nurse uniform? Uh, You didn't tell me that you were wearing a nurse uniform. No, I'm just asking, does that mean? But I'm a doctor. I'm sure it does. But... Because I keep, like, everything in, like, little press. Oh, really? Okay. Even when I do... when I I don't even have my suit because I am a doctor. Okay, so what y'all gonna do now? Um, I I think... Mr. Eric, but I have a question. But if we if we go to the jail that Constrictor and Sabretooth are, well, they just try to jump at us. Why would you want to go to the jail where they are? Uh oh. No, I'm asking. Why would you want to go to the jail? I'm not criticizing you. There's no. Mohammed, why would you want to go to the jail where they are? To ask. What were they doing in the Harris house? Mm. Okay, I think so that's do you want to do that? No. Mm. I'm going sure to it. optimism. It's optimism, not optimism. <laughs> You're going to go to the bathroom. I have to go. Okay. <laughs> Eric, I um, I think that I want to change. Go use uh one of the hospital bathroom and change it to my nurse uniform to look like one of the nurses there. Could I change into my doctor room? Okay, go ahead. Yay. Could I? Yeah, go ahead. No, I'm missing that. <laughs> All right. So, um, you guys are. What are you gonna do though? You have to do something. Oh, uh, uh. Okay. Uh, what's the mission? Mission has you have not solved this mystery. I'm. I'm going. You solved part of it. I'm going to the Harris house back. You're going to the Harris house. Hey, Simon. Okay. And right, he goes to the Harris house. What about you? Uh, want me give you the CD about the uh, James Bay's uh, James Bay project? Yeah, James Bay's project. Oh, you have it. Yes. You have the information. Well, it's pretty much a copy of what we have. So you do have the evidence that they stole it. But we'll take a copy. Thank you. Okay, so. What are you going to do or what are you what are you going to do next cuz you guys have to leave now you're leaving the uh you're out of the out of his room I'm now. Gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to optimism. Okay, so you give optimism. You want to call him up or you want to go to the headquarters? I'll call him up. 
Bud's going to the Harry house. Harry's. And Harry's house. <laughs> and <laughs> and <laughs> you t- you're going to Optimism. He's going to, to the headquarters, Optimism headquarters. Okay, so what are you three going to do? Um, I, I, we, I, We're in the I, bathroom. I, uh, oh, yeah, changed. you guys changed clothes, so you, you're in the hospital now with... And I go to the nurse where the nurse, nurses are. Nurses are. And you're going where the nurses are? Mm, yeah. Okay, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm going to, I, I want to go to our base and talk to Optism. Okay, so you two go to the base. You two are hanging out at the hospital. You're at the Harry house. <laughs> Let's go to... Uh, <laughs> oh, first of all, I got some karma to distribute. <laughs> Okay, y'all found the Harris house, which was good. Of course. So everybody gets two karma. Oh, yeah. 56 plus 2 is 58, yes. Sabretooth was defeated. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. By me. Everybody. No. <laughs> By no question. Everybody gets five karma each for that. Five karma. Two hybrid. Constrictor was defeated. Ooh, yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right? So, I'm, I'm going to give you 40. Yay! Uh, he what gets, about he, no, he gets 45. Cause no, he gets 40. No, 45. 4 plus 5. 55. 45 plus no, I'm giving you, you add that on top of what you just got. 57 and then another 5. 58. Yeah. That's 60. Come on now, you're on the president's yeah. list. Or the dean's Principal. list. Or Principal's that, list. That, that, that did it. Muhammad, All right, did anyone attack? Did anyone attack Amanda? No. Amanda Harris? No. Did anyone try to hurt her? No. no. I don't remember. No, no, we did. didn't even no, win. Everybody did. just crossed their eyes and then they try to look at her. Who found Ron, Ronnie? Uh, um, no, I did. No, I got there first. All of you? We yeah. all got there, actually. Okay, everybody gets... Everybody gets three karma points for that. Okay, you don't have to take it if you don't want it. All right, I'll take it. 66. I got 20 now. Are okay, you keeping up with this? Yeah. Yeah. I I'm at. I don't want you add, adding zeros and other numbers to it. Yeah, I'm adding. Okay. How much did he have? Can I use that? You have trouble with the math. Speak up. Seventy-one. Yeah. And the computer and the computer files were found. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Who found those? Uh, me. Me. No me. Me. All three of them. All of us. Two yeah. points each. Six, six, Two points each. Are we gonna 16. add more karma so I can not? For you, no. You you can stop now. Thank I'll you. just give more karma to other people. Why? Because they're not complaining about adding. No, I'm just addition asking. Addition and mathematics. Yeah. They like math. Hey, okay. what about that's it. That's and it. multiplication. That's it. Twelve is good. That's it. That's it. Oh, okay. okay. ninety. Health, health is back to its maximum level. Sixty-four. Ninety-five from fifteen. I'm um, that's okay, so that would be. But I yeah, I yeah. Well, you did. Getting rid of Constrictor was a very good move. Yeah, with that, I I knocked okay. them out. So now, oh, you, got you two are at headquarters. Or, I'm sorry. You. Oh, yeah, yeah, you two. Okay, sec- you're at the secretary's. Yes, how, how can I help you? Uh. So we fin- completed our mission. Do you have any missions for us now? Wait, um, oh, do you need to speak with Mr. Optism? Yeah, yes. Okay, hold on, please. Your heroes are here. <laughs> yes, sir. Please go in this way and make a left. Make okay. a right. Another left. Another right. And then another right. Okay. Okay. Or right, I'll go take a left and a right and a left and a right and a left and a right and no, a right. I mean and another right. And yeah, and a right. Yeah. right. <laughs> Alright, roll. But I, but, no, actually, but now I wanna um No, you're at the hospital. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. She okay, got you roll. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's your reason? <laughs> 
82. Okay, so between the two of you, like, you got lost right away. You're, you're thinking, well, where am I? And you're like, no, I think it's the right, left, left, right, right, right. Okay. And so you're at the doorway that she described. It's closed. The door is closed. Oh, no. The door you're supposed to go in, it's closed. It's locked. Why don't you just... Quiet. You're not there. Wait, but I want to say something. No, you can't. You're not there. Gonna Hello? Are you guys just going to stand at the door? No. Uh, I'm not there. I'm going to call Optism. No, you're with him. Oh. I'm going to call Optism to I'm going to knock the door. down the door. Okay, so he... You, you're calling... You're saying, Optism, Optism, and you're knocking on the door. And he opens... What? Oh, great. Welcome back. Come on in. We, Where's everyone else? Uh, hospital. Uh, hospital? Iron, what, what happened? Steel Boy went to uh, to the Harris house and... He did what? I, Steel Boy went to the Harris house and Iron Bowl and Fiery Rose just as oh, nurses. Great. I don't know why. All right. Um, listen. Listen. Listen, you two. You gotta keep your team together all the time. Don't let the team split up, okay? Because why? Did, who, did someone say why? <laughs> I thought I heard something say why. Did you say why? <laughs> him? Who's him? I, what? Uh, what people? See, now you're seeing things, young man. <laughs> I mean, I hire you guys Real to life. help me out, and you're not, you're, you're seeing things. No, he said why. Iron Bull. Who said why? I don't see, Iron Bull is not here. You told me Iron Bull's at the hospital. Now you tell me Iron Bull's here. I, you guys are driving me crazy. You know, if you weren't so young, you know, I'd, I'd just say forget it. I'm going to go hire someone more expensive like Spider-Man. No. Okay. No, well, not in the game. He <laughs> said. <laughs> okay, I, yeah, I'm. Okay, you guys are really pushing it. Come okay. on, Andy. Well, listen, listen to me. Listen to me. I do You're not listen, the boss. Listen to me. Um, I've got a serious mission planned for you guys. You need to get your teammates here now. Okay, I'll have Cause ding, ding, ding. I'll lift the ding, 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 ding. She always. Alright. She's not yeah. answering. Are you gonna answer or not? Yeah. Okay, well <laughs> answer. Hello. Uh Fiery Rose, you need to get to the base now. Sure. After someone needs us. What about me? I'm over there too. Okay. I tell him. I broadcast it to him. Yeah. Okay. Left, right, left, right, right, right. <laughs> Alright, and you get a phone call, I guess. Is someone calling you? Is someone calling ring, him? Ring, ring. I am. I'm calling you at all. Uh, steel boy. Oh. What? You have to come to the base now. <laughs> okay. All right, so three hours later, <laughs> finally everyone is in the base. <laughs> and Optism has been sitting here at the desk waiting, waiting, waiting. And uh. he has a mission. And what's the mission again? Don't look at the things. Things. Did you turn over um, Constrictor and Sabertooth to yes. the authorities? Yes. 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 Okay, and when you questioned them, what did they tell you? We Nothing didn't question them. them. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you guys question them? Uh, cause they, they were knocked out in the sleep. They were knocked, they were knocked out in the sleep. Where are they now? In jail. 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 Why didn't you go to the jail and question them? All right. We have them now. Can I use my lightning speed? I'll go with him. Game master. Could I? Mm, I'm really thinking twice if I need to give you this mission or I just need to send you to play dodgeball or something. No, give us a mission. There I'm not giving you the mission because you, you were supposed to get information. Oh, we did. We I'm have gonna go wait, 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 wait. I'm going to go. Run quickly with my lightning speed. All right. So is everyone gonna wait here for him? What no, um, I don't want to. No, just have a wait. Just have, just can I call? Uh, <laughs> can, can I call the um, the hospital and ask uh, um Simon for the disc? Wait, we he have a disc about what uh, what's happening at the 
Uh, okay, uh, Fairy Rose. Uh, if yeah. you capture an enemy, you're supposed to question them. Right. I don't know about a disc. Well, I know is that you have you captured the, these troublemakers. You're supposed to question them. Wait, but wait, 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 wait. The so, so I'll give you. I'm 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 asking you, fast man, <laughs> to go. Herms. Herms. I keep forgetting your name. I'm just joking. Invisible lightning. Invisible lightning. Thank you. <laughs> I'm suggesting you get over to the jail now and question them. Okay. Bye. Yeah. All right, so you guys wait, and uh, Optism gave you some, like, PlayStation 3 games. Oh, yeah! <laughs> no! I'm not playing it. All right, you're at the I police am. station. Mm -hmm. A lot of activity, a lot of noise. How can I help you? Can I see these prisoners called Sabertooth and the Constrictor? Who are you? I am. I'm one of his villains. You be quiet. You're not there. I'm, I'm his boss. I mean, I'm, no. Oh, really? No, 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 no. And, oh, you work, he works for you? No. Oh. No, I just want, no, I'm a reporter. Oh, really? <laughs> what newspaper you work for? Uh, <laughs> New York Times. <laughs> no lie. <laughs> oh, my God. Code three. Uh, Alarm bells start ringing. Why? <laughs> dodge, dodge. And, and this dodge. big uh, force field comes down around you. No. All around you, a big force field. Wait, I'm getting... And police come out from the hallways with their guns drawn at you. My brother Eric. Tell them you're not doing it. Does um in the real deal does it uh, or don't they no, like? No 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 no. You're not there. All right. The real the truth is I'm a superhero and I'm I have to crush the saber tooth and constrictor. Yeah. yeah right right. No. You're not the only superhero reporter slash boss that right. has tried to come and talk to constrictor and saber tooth. We're gonna have to take you in for questioning. <gasps> I'm the one who knocked so, them out and gave you... Yeah, okay, guys. yeah, right, right, right. We'll right, check you out. Well, All right, so after about an hour sitting in jail on a cold steel seat, <laughs> the, the police officer that met you in the Harry house... Harry house. Harry house. Harry house <laughs> comes in and says, Invisible lightning, what are you doing here? I'm here to question them, and these cops thought I was a villain. Why didn't you ask for me? I mean, there's no way we see, we're dealing with so many, we're the busiest police precinct in the city. You can't just walk in and start asking to talk to these high-level criminals. You should have asked for me. I don't here. know your name. Well, here, take my card. It's my name and my number, okay? Next time you're in trouble, you just call me. Okay. I got you cleared. You're okay. You want to question him? Yeah. We got him in the interrogation room. Come on, let's go. Mm -hmm. All right, so you're sitting at a table with both of them. I and, and they're in these super thick handcuffs, steel oh, handcuffs, like, and they pulls them down like this. And <laughs> oh, it's like what's on mutants? Yeah, it's a super strong, like I handcuffs that are as oh, thick as that oh. television set. <laughs> <gasps> oh my god. All right, well, all, right. all right, well, here you got them. You better start asking them questions for it. Uh, uh, I just had to wake them up from their naps. All right, why did you hurt Simon? Simon? Who's Simon? Who are you questioning, by the way? Sabretooth or? Uh, 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 Sabretooth. <laughs> Got nothing to tell you. Constructor. And now I tell a constructor the same question I told him. I don't know. <laughs> okay, why why were you in the Harris house? Bro. Uh oh. Reason. 
This doesn't mean trouble. I could just be doing a secret roll to throw them off. 43. And your reason is what? Uh, uh, my reason is remarkable. I was working. What were you, uh, why were you working and what are you doing, uh, why, what work are you doing in the Harris house? I was working for someone, that's what kind of work I was doing. I'm going to use my mind control so you can say the truth. You can use your mind control if you want. Doesn't mean you'll get me to say the truth. I, I, I do it on constructor. Not saying it to saber tooth. Okay. And what, what, what are you trying to do? Make him sleep? No, make him. So mind control is going to help you know what me, he's thinking? Tell me what, inf what the information I said that looked the truth. Okay, go for it. Oh, six. That was six. That's sick. Well, that was a nice uh, little drawing of uh, Tom and Jerry you just put in my head, pal, but I ain't telling you nothing. All right, fine, I do again. <laughs> Eat this. <laughs> Ten. No, I'm not hungry. <laughs> You guys be quiet, you're not normal. This guy's funny. He's supposed to be doing dirty. You're under. His name is Justin. I can't believe I said that. All right. <laughs> what were you doing at the Harris house? <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, uh, invisible lightning. Justin, who? Like what's his ten million Justins. What, what's his last name? Booga booga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not telling you anything. Eat this. <laughs> <laughs> What's your skill level? Excellent. <laughs> Justin, Justin, Justin. <laughs> Justin Hammer. <laughs> Justin Hammer, Justin Hammer. <gasps> And you see Sabretooth looking at him. <laughs> Sabretooth, why you were working at the Harris house? Eat this again. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! No, <laughs> I was making ice cream. <laughs> no, right now, all right now, I'm serious. I'm gonna give you a nightmare. <laughs> My boss, my boss works in this apartment building on the 3501 17th Street, Ontario, Canada. What the heck? <laughs> Is your boss muted? Uh, no. I don't know. I don't know who my boss is. All I know is he hired me. It's just tell him to eat this. He's lying. Right, how did you hurt uh, Simon? I ate him. <laughs> how did we hurt him? Cut him up once we found him. Yeah. And then Sabretooth says, you know, Punk tried to trick us. So we had to fight him. You're just speaking right. more and more. Who is this agent who is, who is trying to get information? Any? Uh, oh. oh, that was sick. <laughs> he, he's starting to look 
Constrictor's starting to look really exhausted from all your mind control. Constrictor no, or I'm doing it on Sabertooth. Sabertooth is just... <laughs> I find if you have so much in energy, tell me who is working for you. I mean, who, the agent that we was... just told you. Working. <laughs> they, just, they just know their boss. They got a call from their boss. That's it. What is this? Justin Hammer, and he gave you the address. He gave you a name of Justin Hammer, and he also gave you an address, but it doesn't mean it's the same person in the same tell, place. Tell me the address again. He tells you the same address. I know, but could you say it again? I, I don't remember. Did you write it down? Uh, I'll write it down Justin on Hammer. some of my pieces. 351 Canada. Mm -hmm. to so down in me. Did someone write down the address? Uh, I'll write I wrote it. Them just an hammer. Mm. I have some papers over here. What was the address? And right, he repeats the address to you again. Right. Three seven five one East Fifteenth Street. Three Ontario. What was it? Ontario, Canada. Uh, East. No. And that's it. I'm not saying it again. Ontario. How do we say Ontario? Oh, my turn. All right. Before Ontario. Or before <laughs> I leave, Canada. I shall you know? knock you out. Know Canada is? <laughs> yeah. All the way on the other side of the Are whole universe. Yeah. See okay. you later, alligator. <laughs> hey, thanks, thanks a lot, Invisible Lightning. We appreciate that info. Bye. All right, so you run back to Optism, Optism and the base, okay? So what'd you find? I got... <laughs> Their boss is named Justin Hammer, and then the street is 3751, address 3751, East Oriental, Can Canada. Yeah, Alright guys, that's just what we needed. That's just what we needed. Alright, here we go. The James Bay Electric Project is in Canada, specifically Quebec, the French-speaking area. And it's almost as large as that big dam in China right now that they just built, but not quite. And so this dam is so big, sit good posture, it's so big and can generate so much electricity, it can generate enough electricity to power all of the cities on the East Coast. That's Boston, New York, Washington, D.C., and Bucks, North, Tennessee. My heart's going to explode um, <laughs> Plus Canada. Plus parts of Canada. It does a lot of Canada. The Canadian government has contracted me to f help them... Uh, uh, find out what's been going on and if the James Bay project could be a good source of power for the rest of uh, North America, for the east part of North, North America. But we suspect that there's trouble and we've been getting word that there's problems down there. So I'm sending you guys to investigate what the problem is there and why information was leaked and who that leak is and to find out about this Justin Hammer fella. I'm letting you guys use my uh, one of my planes. Oh, what about my commercial jet? Mm-hmm. You can use them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we're going to, to Canada? Yes. On the airplane. A very small, fast plane that I designed. Why so can't the plan? Huh? What's the right plan? No? I just told you the plan. But why can't my guy? Let's go, jet? guy. Let's you let's go. You pilot go. my jet. Oh. We don't have time for you to go lease a jet at O'Hare wait, Field wait, right now. Wait, you I guys. have to send you now. Oh, so wait, go to the bathroom and wash your hands, and then let's go. Okay. Wait, you guys. I don't need any accidents on the plane. Wait, you guys, you guys, first. First, let's drop Ronnie at his house. We did. Yeah, yeah, you took care of Ronnie. Yeah. 
Ronnie's and the at parents. Home. Yeah, everyone's Thank happy. You. Thank you very much. <laughs> you remember you got karma for finding Ronnie. You're okay. I didn't get any karma. So karma. you go up to the hangar bay. It's very cold, by the way. Because <laughs> I have my snow. I have my coat on. And in, you're, you're, in Canada, when it's when and it's you still have you have your doctor's outfit and you no, have your I wanna, nurse's outfit. No, I want to change my doctor outfit. Oh. outfit. Would you guys hurry up, make up your mind what you want to wear? Okay. What I'm are you gonna, wearing? I'm, I'm gonna change my I'm gonna change into my superhero clothes. I just changed into my little goatee and my your skirt. goatee. <laughs> yeah, my t-shirt. Oh. Oh. And your my t-shirt. A, a little skirt. A little skirt and a t-shirt. <laughs> In boots. Okay. It's particularly cold. <laughs> I said okay. a jacket. With a jacket. With a little jacket, too. <laughs> On top of your little skirt and your t shirt. You're going to be really cold. How about yeah. you wear a little longer skirt? Maybe some stockings? Yeah. Fine <laughs> skirt. And a long Optism skirt. gives you a pair of jogging pants. Here you go. Okay. Now, <clears throat> you're flying in. Yes. I'm playing with uh, I'm playing. I, Just so you know, uh, while you guys are flying, optimism calls. Hmm? I'm a pilot for a talent, so I'm going to be jumping. Oh, he's he's actually flying this time. Who, me? No, me. <laughs> 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 no, I'm flying. Are we going to play about me flying? Optimism calls. And, um, oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Yeah. I have arranged for you oh, to pose as a government inspection team visiting yeah, yeah. James Bay. So actually you're undercover. So if you look before you get off the plane after it lands in the uh, utility closet 2B there are disguises for you with security passes. Don't lose those security passes. Because if you lose them and you get arrested, I can't do anything to help you. I'm gonna go to the utility closet to be. Me too. Wait, what are the okay. little clothes? You should do it when you land because it's okay. gonna be a bumpy ride. <sighs> Wait, what are the clothes that we have to wear, like security pants and stuff? Yeah. Or usually secret agent clothes. Yeah, like security, like oh. you like uh, uniforms. Oh, okay. It's so whatever you want it to be. How's that? Yeah. Okay. Agent. Oh. <laughs> Ow. Okay. My ear. You could hear that three blocks away. <laughs> Ow. One, two, three. All right. Like you guys miles. land yeah. safely. Yes. See a little flurries, like a little bit of snow flurries. You're in Canada right now. Yeah. It's snowy in there. Snowy. Oh man. But if, but if it was, if it was. You see someone at the landing pad. Uh, and you see another person walk up next to him and they're waiting for you. Or it seems like they're waiting for someone. I'm going to go to the closet right now. Me too. Me too. Me. You guys going to change? Yeah. yeah. Alright, you guys change. Is there anything else I need to know that you have with we, you? Uh, uh, we should take the security cards. Okay, got your security clearance. Yeah. And I have one too. How does that finger taste? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and is there a place where you can get a water bottle just in case? You have water? You can take a water bottle with you? Yeah, I have yeah. water, but frozen. You have a frozen water bottle? <laughs> I have a non-frozen. You want a frozen one? Okay. No, a non right, So he took his out of the freezer. <laughs> you took yours out of the refrigerator. And he just likes it being cold. And all the me time. too. I took okay, mine. You have out a frozen of one? Uh, me too. No, I took mine out of the refrigerator. Okay, do you need dental floss? Yes. Me okay. too. Yes. And, and our toothbrushes. And a change of socks and swimming trunks. And no! Yeah, right. just a water bottle. Right, so no, I have su a whole suitcases. No. You want suitcases? Yeah. Okay, so you take little suitcases out with you. Alright. So, so here's here's um Hey, do we have like face disguises too? No. No. Um, I have makeup. You'd have to spend a couple hours putting it on. It takes a while to put on a, a, a disguise on your face. So no, oh, yeah. you don't. Right now you look ways. just like you normally look. In your I face. have my makeup actually. I can do. It. Man walks up to you, extends his hand. You look like the leader of this troop. Yes, we do. My name is Ross Kincaid. Okay. 
Who is this character? Mm, he's my friend. Okay. Well, I want to just let you know, I'm the chief engineer of this whole operation. Okay. Learn your manners. <laughs> I hear you're here to inspect. And I want to make sure that when you inspect, you're not finding anything that's out of order. But I'll be up front with you. We are not without problems. And then he looks at his partner next to him, the, the man next to him, looks at him kind of like he's a little annoyed. Yeah, yeah, come on in. Um, he's kind of a little annoyed with him. He has like an annoyed look on his face. Tired face? We had a couple problems here. Like I'll name four of them for you. How about we go, it's so cold out here, let's go to my office. Thank okay. you. Uh, and, uh, and, do you uh, make, want me to make you my assistant's chocolate? No, it's all right. We already got hot chocolate in the vending machines. Um, my assistants will help you with your bags. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, okay. I don't have bags. Help I her. Bags. Help her with her suitcases. I don't have bags. I don't have a suitcase. Are you on vacation or are you working? We're working, but oh. we're going to be staying here for a few days. So ah. I was hoping that you guys would brought some extra clothes. Just like a government inspector prepared. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. So, so you guys get in the office. He says, Look, I I'll put it to you like this. All right, problem number one. Problem number one is, I have got someone here that has been stealing. Stealing what? Stealing all kinds of supplies. Like Entire warehouses of material are disappearing and we have environmentalists like my associate here and he sits there and looks at him like very funny who say this is going to be an environmental disaster this dam we're building <clears throat> now I'm really concerned that these thieves who are breaking in through all of our locks okay I'm really worried that they're going to steal our generator coils. What are generator coils? Well, they're used to You're generate the to electricity. Know. Of course. Oh. Exactly. I mean, you're an inspector. You're asking me all these questions. What's I this mean, and what's that? that? I, I have a theory. Maybe, maybe it was the same well, tooth and constrictor who are just who are in jail right now. But well, couldn't be saber tooth and constrict constrictor. I don't think it could be. Because, uh, well, you, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. I probably um, could be used by. We rested them today. But I have these coils under 24-hour guard right now. Okay. These coils are as big as this room. <laughs> Problem number three seems to be related to the thefts. To the thieves. Thieves. Who, who are the thieves? We don't know. But I can tell you this problem. This strange thing is we found large footprints that have been spotted around the camp. Wait, um... Yes? Sir, can we inspect the footprints? Because in the Harris house, we found footprints, too. And they were big. They were, like, big. They were like big. Well, I'm telling you the footprints that we found. I don't know about the Harris house. I don't even know what that is. But I know these footprints are, bigger than are about footprints. two feet wide. How many... Two how, how big were the footprints in? Twelve inches, one feet. They were like normal sized feet. Yeah. And one of my men tells me that he saw a giant beast out there a few <laughs> nights ago. I don't know what, all he said it was large, it was shadowy, and it had eyes that glowed with a greenish glow. Saber tooth! Does that, did saber tooth? Now here's what I think is the worst problem. Ooh. Is that all three Sorry. of these problems are going to make us late for the construction of this project? Oh my God. You know, it makes me wish that you guys were superheroes. We, we, just we, oh, we are. We are. Oh, oh you oh. are. Did we just say know. that? I don't know who they are. Um, How did yeah. you get with these people? They looked oh. like my friends. And they took. Uh, he's a friend, but we're superheroes. 
Um, did, did, you, did you just say um, that out loud? Someone had just... I got a call from the governor that inspectors were coming. Yeah. We are, yeah, we are the inspectors. Yeah, we are the inspectors. We're the inspectors. Just keep. Why don't you guys stay right here? Um, We're the inspectors. Who gets on the phone? Jim, send a team over. Wait, I'm turning. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. And he leaves the room. Okay. I, I Why did you guys say that? I'm not. You're the one. You, I wasn't. You, I turn invisible. And what am I supposed to do? Mind controller to forget that we just said that. Yeah, do, do that. Cause you have to do your own thing. Could you just help a, us? Come yeah. on, we're All a right. team. Mind controller. I'm going to use my mind control. The okay, door opens up. I'm oh, well, my superhero uh, government inspector friends. And Mr. Kincaid steps out and a team of four security guards walks in with rifles and helmets. Um, you're under arrest, you're under arrest, you're under arrest, you're under arrest, and you're under arrest for impersonating government officials. No, 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 no. You have broken Canadian law, wait. code 377, paragraph 3. Wait, wait, I'm, so I'm sorry, 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 I'm going to use my mind control kidding. and make... We're just joking, sorry. We're kidding. No, no. Yeah, we're joking. Well, this is a Can't this you is have a, a sense of humor. No, this is a high security situation. We don't take any comedians right here. Even if you are a superhero, what? it's my job to make sure you're arrested for impersonating a government. Wait, no, wait, can, wait, I, wait, can, no, can no, I? Can I? No. What are you gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna swipe off. I'm gonna use my mind control and make them forget about what they said about superheroes. Okay, I'm giving you. It's gonna be a hard roll. What oh, is it supposed to be? Oh, could I use a twenty karma? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. You read it right. You're gonna to have to roll two times in a row. I'm gonna give you four. You're gonna to have to roll an eighty or higher. Two oh. times in a row, and I'm gonna give you four chances, and then you can control all of their minds and make them forget the silly things that you guys just said. That's one turn. Oh, that's two turns. This is it. You gotta get these two. Forty-seven, sixty-seven. You better roll a hundred. Yeah. I'm out. You had three other chances to use karma. You should have used it. I know I used. No, yeah, you should have used it before each roll, instead of just one roll. All right, you guys are under arrest. Oh man. Um, are you gonna fight or are you gonna go along with it? Wait, well, wait, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do the mind control again. Wait, you had your turn. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, we were sent by Octim, Octim uh, from another way because because it was a missing key. Oh, really? Yeah, and it was a missing key. Uh, there were these guys that heard us. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then we had to come I'm, here. I seriously don't know this nothing. guy. I have, there, were, know there were these two guys, and they sent us oh, this hand. And okay, I think I've heard enough of this game. I have a business to take care of here. I have work to do. We have a giant project. It's on the deadline, and you guys have decided to come and waste my time with games. Security, take them away. No. No. Okay. So, so um, I died. you're going along with it, right? Yes. Oh, yes. you're going to fight him? No. You're going to resist? No. You're going to resist? You're going to resist? No. You're going to resist? I know. Okay, now you guys are locked up in jail. Thanks a lot. I didn't All say five nothing. of you are locked up in jail. You have a court date. When? 
the next day. Oh God! For Thank impersonating you for government hard. officers. Thank you, Thank Steel you Boy hard. and Iron Bolt and Fiery no, Rose. No, and Lightning Bolt. All right, now let me like, let me tell boy. you this. I am your conscience speaking. Listen, you all were given instructions, and the instructions were that you were going to be undercover. government inspectors. Not only did you reveal to them that you were undercover, we are super You also revealed heroes. who you worked for. We didn't work for him. You revealed Fuck. Optism's name. Oh, so because you guys did not control yourselves, in the mission. All karma's gone. All our karma's gone. Right? You went to court. Mm -hmm. Optism did not vouch for you. That means he told you, right? Yeah. yeah. That if you guys blow your identity, he can't do anything to help you. He, he said, I don't know anything about you guys. They brought him into court. He says, I never met these people. And now he is actually in jail. Who? Optism. Because they're trying him to find out what kind of connections he has to you guys. And Dang. the entire James Bay mission has uh, been uh, deleted, canceled, failed. So <clears throat> your characters are now in prison. Forever? Right. You have life sentences. Right. But, but. Because when you go into another country impersonating a government official and you get caught, that's bad, bad news. What can we right. do in jail? But. What is right, life so you can uh, wait. Do I, sh I have so my, I have my cell what phone still sentence? in my pocket. Right. No, but in jail. Those guards confiscated everything from you guys. Are, you, are there guards guarding our, our cells? Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. It's all gone. They took all of it. I want to I, add them I one know, question. I know, but are there, like, police guarding our cells now? I want to add them no. one question. Well, they don't, they, don't, they don't know too much about you guys, but, yeah, there's guards everywhere. Wait, right. wait. But what I'm trying to tell you is that, is that, you guys really lost. I'm gonna fade. Mr. Eric, but did What I'm trying to tell you is your characters are gone. Mm. They're in prison. Okay. And you have to make new characters and start all over. <gasps> this entire mission that I planned for, you guys blew the whole mission. And I have to do another I have one. Another chance. Thank God I mean We're gonna make new characters. <gasps> yes, we gotta make brand new characters. Wait, 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 I want to ask him one question, one question, and do you know Justin Hammer? If I, you, you guys have, you guys have been in prison now for months and years, it, all of your questions and it's irrelevant because you were caught impersonating government officials. What does impersonating mean? You were using an undercover identity. You, you, you were sent to that area to pretend to be government agents. And then when you were there, you went and revealed and you said, oh yeah, I'm a superhero. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm she saying? And the, and the, listen to me, All listen of you to me. Guys did. Listen to me, listen to no, me. I didn't. Listen to me and so whether he believed you or not didn't matter, but he saw you guys are either crazy or you're impersonating a government official. Also, this guy that you were talking with might not have been a good guy. Do you understand? Mind control. I'm not... No. Thanks. Shh. What I'm trying to tell you all is you, when you're playing this game, you have to play, but you think 
before you say things. Because you notice how you would say things and I'd look at you? Remember how you were like, yeah, okay, okay. When he was talking, he looked at you funny. Why are you, what are you, who is this? And then he, you told him, hey, be quiet. Okay? These are serious games that we're playing. So I want you all, I want you to tell me what it, sit up. I want you to tell me what you should have done differently. We should have just stayed, kept our mouth shut, and none of us said anything, uh, and answered the questions that he asked. And did he did he ask you any questions? He was just giving you information, right? No, but uh. then will be easy. It'll be easier for us to get sent to jail because we're we're just ignoring him or something. Uh, no. Oh. But that's all right. You're thinking. What would you have done differently? I would have just stayed quiet. Yeah. What would you have done differently? Me? Yeah. I would have, like, uh, uh, I, like, if we were in jail, hey, uh, could you? I would just say, uh, if we were just joking, we're, like, the guards now. Yeah, there's no joke. That's what I'm trying to tell you, young man. Life is not a joke. See how we get to play this game? You see how we're playing the game? That's how life really is like. You have to be careful what you say. And you have to listen to instructions. And what you do. When the teacher tells you to do something, when your boss tells you to do something, you follow the instructions. Don't change. Okay. How about you, young man? Don't say anything. There was nothing you could do because they blurted it out. We did. But when you did the mind control, which was smart, you should have added karma each time you rolled. I got an idea. So, so, like I said, when you make your new characters, maybe they can do something to look for um, I'm gonna be already dead. help. Maybe they can do something to help get Wait. justice for them to get them out. I know, but they're already dead. I no, mine is only 21 okay, years listen, old. Listen, listen. Mine's 25. Listen. I have experience with the game, like, so I know. You guys shouldn't blow your cover. Like, you should just be quiet and go with the flow. You shouldn't, like, disturb, don't, you, you shouldn't have uh, mentioned anything about optimism. You just ruined him for no reason. I mean, you got him in jail for your cause. And what he got us, he got and us he a And he gave you a jet. He gave you plenty of stuff. But, mm -hmm. um, yeah, we cover up. But, but what Thanks, happened to Bob. those cards? <laughs> Why did he keep blaming God? me? <laughs> Listen to him. Those, gar those cards got shredded. Yeah, you're right. That's well, those, are secu oh. those were fake. Remember, he said he gave you these cards because you're yeah. gonna go. These were security cards to get you in, and you Come used on. them. But when it when he found out that you guys were not who you said you were, or you guys were just yeah, you weren't. You were goofy or something. I mean, you don't want to walk around the street telling people you're a superhero. Yeah, I know. They you, think you're crazy. You were like gover government, like like government people on inspection. Yep. They think you're working for them, helping yep. for them, yep. like, and probably that guy will try to cause disaster all, yep. all over yep. the nations. You were in the biggest power plant in North America. A lot of security there. That's the, that's the Hoover down. Uh, well, you know, it's, you know, I, I mean, made it up. <laughs> but, um, you know, you guys got to be careful. So, don't feel too bad. You know why? Because you got to learn. And now, you know that you got to make sure you keep your people, your team, prepare them ahead of time. Excuse okay? Me, Muhammad, prepare them ahead of time by telling them, look, this is what we're doing, this is what we're not doing. Keep your mouths closed unless you have a question. You got well, it? I try to tell them and then... Yeah, yes, you're doing talking. fine. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. These three, these four had to learn a lesson. Okay, and unfortunately, it was a mean lesson. <laughs> that you had to teach us. Okay? 
But I didn't blurt anything out. I was quiet the whole time. Me too. Well, these two. It was really these two that said they were super. And I didn't say him. nothing. Especially oh, yeah. him. We got it on. We got it on tape, so we could check. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then you gave optimism away, which was a real no-no. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. That was really, really bad. No, no. That was really bad because optimism <laughs> hires all kinds of superheroes to do things, and now he's not around. So what's going to happen now is the bad guys are now getting more power because optimism isn't around anymore to send superheroes out. And superhero then they're going to steal stuff and that yeah. guy probably should have been just yeah. an hand. I went over the video last week and there was something that I missed. And that is, yeah, y'all blurted out, and yeah, y'all got in trouble, and you got caught. You revealed your secret identity. Invisible lightning actually turned invisible after you all wanted to boast that you were superheroes while you were undercover. So he disappeared out of thin air. But uh, the the officials at that that power plant did see him momentarily, and he is on the security cameras. So he is a wanted man. Uh Um, Now, the United States isn't really saying anything about this incident because... It's just just a real messed up diplomatic matter. But they have... You have been on the run. You've been wearing all kinds of disguises. But you know that Optism is in prison and all your friends are in prison. And the mission has failed. Not yet. Well... I'm going to save Yes. Um... But, can, but even though he's invisible, can they still see him in the security cameras? I know that. No. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> I think you're eating too much greasy food. Okay? And you need to stop because it's causing you indigestion. Okay. All right? Okay. Now. While you were back in the Chicago area under one of your many disguises, you were contacted by someone named... Yes. (laughs) Don't get so excited now. (laughs) They're going to hear the cell phone. You might not like it. I don't know. But uh, you you were contacted by... Mm. Oh, what's her name? Uh, Heather McNeil. Who's Heather McNeil? Can I talk? Okay. Okay, you are not, you're in prison. So you can't say anything right now. I Be patient. <laughs> Heather McNeil contacted you and uh, she works with a team called Alpha Flight. And she uh, met with you for a short time, and she said she's she knows all about what happened. And actually, Alpha Flight works in Canada, out of Canada, which is where you all were uh, were caught, uh, where you got in trouble. Um, and Alpha Flight has been charged with continuing the mission that was failed. Because it is such a serious thing, this power plant. So because they have a power plant they're trying to build here, just like the one over there, they've got to find out. So this is... Heather uh, McNeil says... uh, Heather McNeil Hudson, actually. Heather Hudson is her name. She says that if they can't pull this mission off now, and they blow it now, This could mean that the world's largest power plant falls into the hands of some unknown criminal organization. So she really needs your help. 
to uh, finish this mission and if we can find out who's connected where, there's a chance we can free your friends from prison and optimism. Uh, so, so, uh, are you willing to work with her on this mission? Sure. Yeah. Yes. Okay. But Very good. First, can I call the X Men? Uh, you better be careful about making phone calls. Yeah. Remember, you're a wanted man. No one knows where you are. So if you want to make phone calls, you can. But be careful how you talk, who you talk to, what you say, and what you do. Because I'm the game master, and I'm, I got to run the whole network. So if you start acting silly, the authorities may know where you are. All right? So I hope you didn't tear up your character sheet. I didn't tear it up. Okay. All of it. <laughs> okay, well. You need to fix it. Go get some tape. Fix it. Hannah, you will be the character, you will play the character of Jean-Marie Bobier. You're a teacher. Your superhero identity is Aurora. Hey, there's so much. And there's all kinds of information about you. I highly recommend you read it. Because otherwise, you're going to mess up. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll go over briefly. Your powers include flight, yes. uh, a light burst, What's oh. light burst, split personality, which is which is a disadvantage for you, because uh, you are you have two identities. Sometimes when you lose it, your one identity takes over the other. So you got to be careful, oh, yeah. and you have a non-detection power. So, right? Uh, so, Eric, let me get through this. Is it this. kind of like you have one good side and one bad side? No. no. One like goes no. crazy? No. Schizophrenia no. isn't necessarily that way. Um, Nabila, you are Snowbird. <laughs> it's not funny. Your name is Narya. You are a very powerful being. Uh, of nature. You can shape change into the form of any creature that's from the Canadian Arctic. Only problem is you can't leave the Canadian Arctic or you start to age very quickly and you could die. What does age mean? Uh, get, get very old quickly. Yeah. Um, you can fly and you have post cognition abilities. You also um, have an interesting background. It's a biography. All right. Fahad. Yes, finally. You will play Sasquatch. <laughs> Not funny. Your real your real name is Dr. Walter Langowski, and you're a physics professor. <laughs> And you can turn yourself into a giant furry orange beast. Uh, you have body armor. And you can leap, not quite like the Hulk, but you can leap pretty far. You have bestial rage, which can be a disadvantage if you go into that, uh, so you have to be careful. Yeah. And you have lots of, uh, you, have incre you have a very high level of reason when it comes to uh, things such as physics and radiation. Mm -hmm. And you also used to be a football player. <laughs> I highly recommend you read your character sheet so that you understand who you are and what you do. Okay, Adele. Oh, I thought, I thought you gave You are Eugene Judd. You're a bodyguard, a bouncer. Okay, people hire you. <laughs> People hire you to be a bodyguard or to make sure that people behave themselves in uh, yeah. gatherings. Uh, so your superhero name is Puck. Puck. Yeah. Okay, you have gymnastic ability. 
You are known as Jean-Paul Bobier. You are brother. the brother to Jean-Marie Bobier. Yeah, I kind of found out. Jean-Marie. Well, it's really Jean. It's Sir French. Yeah, what's your Eric? North Star okay. is your superhero name. I know. You can fly very fast. And you have the same power. And you have multiple attack powers. And you also have a light burst power. What's a light burst? And you have an interesting background. I highly recommend that you read. Could you pass this to him, please? Do I have lightning? All right. It's called light. He looks like he's from Star Trek. Mr. Eric. Yes. But but do any of my. I want. Did you read the whole thing? Did you? Okay. But do any of my. Okay. Could you please read it before you ask me questions? He Fahad made his name called Ahad. Because I hate Fahad. <laughs> okay, you, you should not hate who you are. You should love who you are. There's nothing wrong with your name. Okay, Jamal. Oh, yeah. You are Michael Two Young Men. A physician and a mystic. Your superhero name is Shaman. Or Shaman. Mm -hmm. Whatever. And you have a mystic pouch. That has medicine. And all kinds of interesting things that you can just pull out of it. I mean, it's a big long list here. You also have levitation abilities. That means rise up. And you have very good medical skills. And also an interesting background. I highly recommend that you read this. Yes, I'm brother. Eric. Uh, where does it say, Mr. Eric, I grew up on the streets. <laughs> <laughs> This is Puck. This is Mr. Puck. Whose quiz is this? Steady. Keep it. Puck is the Mr. Tiny guy, the Put black guy. Put your name man. on it. You look cute. So Shaman and Marina are not in the game now. Shaman is. That's. that's Wait, that's can I see how she. Oh. Um, he looks cool. He looks like a Native American. He is. He is Native Wait, American. Wait, can I see the. Wow. Can, I go, can I see Shaman? Yeah. Snowboard looks like a demigod. Right, any other questions before we start? Can I see Shaman? That's Shaman. Who, who's Shaman? I can see Mr. This Eric. Class. Could you put that away? Mr. Please? Eric, who's Shaman? Him. Him? Yeah. No, let's start the game. All right. Shh. Oh my God. So now we're all together. I right, don't reveal your identity. If you do. You are in, you are in the Alpha Flight base with... Heather Hudson. It's okay. It's all right. Whatever happens, happens. Mr. Eric, but it's, it's with an A. Can I, can I, can I make Please myself in this? Is that what it says? It said I invisibility? Can do Is that, was that one of the invisibilities? Uh, was that one of the, um, no. let's see, magical powers? It didn't, it didn't show, like, what I could do. But, I remember I told you. Dimensional energies, universal, magic and combat. No, but you could cast a spell that might make people go blind cool. if you're successful. Don't be down us. Can I do that? Super, uh, I mean, uh, the villains, and then the, uh, I wouldn't use karma? Yeah, as long as you don't kill them. And it doesn't have to be permanent. I won't kill anyone. I'll just All end right. them. We already did. So we're in the office with uh, with with Heather <laughs> Hudson right now. You're in the office. Alpha Flight and uh, Invisible Lightning. Invisible Lightning. We're still stuck. You actually have one of your disguises on right now, which is a which is a big beard mm -hmm. and a and a big knit cap. It's not funny. And very you, thick black glasses. You guys are in jail already. Be quiet. No, they're not. They're playing new characters now. Yeah. So they're taking on that personality. So do you all have any questions about the mission before we send you? Yes. How would I be able to go with everybody else if it's out of the Canadian Arctic? Uh, you're in the Canadian so, Arctic. I know, but when I go with them somewhere, if I had to go somewhere else, out of the Canadian Arctic. I have no idea. You should know who you are. 
Didn't you discuss this with your daughter? I don't have a daughter. Yes, you do. Okay, so when when I get these uh, identification badges, Thank you. these are your secret identity. Now, as you know from the previous team that was sent in, um, you're going to be undercover. We believe that the uh, people running the place are going to be a little suspicious. Now, the thing about your mission that's different from the last team is not only do you have to find the connection, the contact. What was the name of that person that Constrictor said to look for? Oh, 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 I know. Oh, oh, Justin Hammer. Okay, you, you all can just... You, you said Justin Hammer. Yeah. Right? Justin Hammer. Now, according to the information that you all got, uh, Invisible Lightning, uh, um, he was located at, at some apartment complex. Was yeah. that the lead that you got? No. He's at East Ontario 35751 Canada. Okay. Uh, I, I used my mind control on Constrictor, and he said Justin Hammer is in 3751 East Attorney. That's it. Ontario, Canada. That's it. That's what we have. So I suggest that you all maybe want to go there before you head over to the James Bay Project Number One. Sure. Um, if not, that's fine. But but it might give you some clues on to what's going on, especially if you can question this uh, Mr. Hammer fella. Where does he? What? Where's Halloween's house? Uh, your partner just told you where it was. So. But um, so with when you go in, the last team was government inspectors. You're also going to be government inspectors. So it's really important that you know your part. And if you have any questions, you ask them. Guys. Yes. Just uh, we know. Oh. We know. This time we should just keep our mouth shut before we. And say if no. they ask, ask you anything. Time. What, what What do you mean this time? Uh, uh, you were already on this mission. Oh no, nothing. Never no, mind. Because I don't want this to happen right. like what happened at my team. Because my team ruined their cover and now they're in jail. You should save them too. And that's the other part of their mission. So it's important them out. for you to. It's important for you to find evidence that could link uh, to a setup. That means someone was actually after your team or they knew about your team and made sure that they really got caught. I don't know if you can do it, but uh, that's something to look out for when you investigate. So you guys ready to go? Yep. And before yep. if they, if you just get loose, do not tell who gave us the our secret identity. Yeah. That's why I have Oh, it's very important, by the way, you know, that you don't tell anybody that, that I'm necessarily a part of what you all are doing. I will be down there at one point, at one, of the, at one of the locations. We might see each other again. But it's really important that you don't act like you know me. Is that, is that understood? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait Game Master? Wait, wait. Um, okay, now we, she's asking the Game Master. Yes. Are we, are we wearing what we're wearing in these, or are we just wearing regular clothes like people? You're undercover. So, so what do you think that means? It includes we wear. As people wear? Normal. No, when You're we You're undercover. Were You're undercover as government inspectors. So, yes. so do you think uh -huh. wearing your uniform would be don't, a good idea? Don't. Just keep me. your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. I'll yeah. just not tell Jack and this a little fact that no, government inspector uniform yeah. would be good. Yeah. Yeah. A suit. Yeah. With your identification, mm. right? Mm. Yeah. All right. You all are dismissed. Okay, um, so let's go, go. ahead let's to, go to Canada. Let's go to Canada. Okay, where in Canada are you Before going? Before Game Master. Yes. The Canadian Arctic is in Canada, right? Yes. Just making sure. Thank you. 
<laughs> All right, are you are going you? somewhere? Where are you going? I'm going to 3751 East Ontario, Canada. Okay. I'm going to come with him. Uh, you fly Me into town. I'm come with him. Me too. Okay, you fly into, <laughs> what about fly into you? town. We're out. Me too. We're out. And um, everyone's there. Everyone's together. And um, you're in the area. And you're at the area where the address should be, but you don't see a building with that number. <gasps> you were set up. Um, didn't you use your mind control on them to tell you? Yes. And you said did it fail or did it work? Really, I don't know, but if he told me just a number, then it's pr then it's probably right. All right. Uh, can I use my? Uh, can I use my intuition to see if there, if the three seven five one is uh, a number is hidden? Yeah, go ahead and oh, roll. Where's the red one? Yeah, you gotta use both. <clears throat> What's your intuition? How do you count? For uh, my intuition. Oh, excellent. The red, the red one is the tens. Excellent twenty. White ones, the ones. Okay. Zero seven. You're definitely in the right place. Yeah. Can so I look? I feel that. Hold on. Whose turn? Uh, can I use like my magic magical powers to like see underground if there it's hidden there? Mm. A magical power to see. Okay, it'll take you a turn to conjure up. The uh, you can be able you can take on the eyes of um, the earth to sense if anything's in there, but it's going to take you three turns to come up with the spell. Just have to wait three times. Yep, and that means everyone goes three times. Okay. So you want to roll? Yeah. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start going in order. That way. All right. And we're starting, I kind of jumped around, I shouldn't have done that. Um, so I'm going to let you roll when it comes to your turn. We're going to start with North Star. So could you switch? Thank you. But I'm just telling you I never did the camera. So should I roll? I just look through, just look through and, and, and the little handle that sticks out, that's what you, just move it to turn. Yeah, that's it. So make sure the camera's on the person who's talking. So, so, can I roll? Not yet. Or do I? You're I mean, gonna roll at your turn. We're starting at this end. Okay? Okay, so. so I'm gonna what are you gonna do? You got any questions? You, you, you're in this place in the middle yeah. of town. Yeah. Alright. What do you wanna do? You're gonna, with your team. I'm gonna call uh, our uh, to call superior officer. Okay, Heather Hudson? Yeah. Okay, you're gonna call her and. You don't yeah, need that. You don't need dice for that. Put it down. Yeah, I'm gonna call her and tell. Uh, Wait. Like inform dial me. the phone. Beady bop 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 bop. <laughs> Ring. Ring. Hello. Yeah. Um. This is the answering service of Heather Hudson. Please leave a message. Beep. Uh, Heather. Yeah. I mean. Uh. Like, yeah. We're at the designated area, and uh, there's nothing there at all. You can tell where the and area is. is. Okay. All right. She doesn't know who I think No, she could probably try. Okay, and that was your turn. So, uh, what are you going to do? Okay, I am going to, like, skip my turn. Okay. What are you going to do? Skip my turn. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to do. Okay. Except stand and walk. Oh, okay. If that's what you think. All right, it's your turn. You want to roll and <laughs> conjure up something. <laughs> so, what is your roll. level for your magical abilities? Can I see? <laughs> see. So you have magical powers. You need a su successful psyche feat roll. So your psyche is is incredible. Okay. So we're gonna look at this chart. You fall right down here. You, you need a green, yellow, or red for a successful roll. 
So that's up to 40. You have to roll. Yeah, well, you have to roll between 31 and 100. Should be easy. Yeah. Can I put karma? Certainly. How much? I have How many points of karma? Not yet. Okay. Ten. Ten is good. Usually you should save your karma for emergencies. I only have 36. <laughs> I have 70. But you're not doing anything, so don't worry about it. 34. Okay, successful. You're starting to conjure up the out of your pouch, and you're shaking it and pouring it and stirring it up. All right? I am going to, do I see a point? What is around us? What is around me? What right is now. Us? You see, you see, uh, Jamal. She is doing good role playing. She's she's trying to know what's going on around. That's a real important part in the role playing game. Before you do anything, know where you are. Okay, right now, you're in a city, an urban area. There's buses and cars going down the street. There's people walking by. Uh, there's a big fence area with. Um, and the fence has has like green sheets on it, so you can't really see through the fence. And then there's two big buildings at the other ends of the block, and um, mm -hmm. it's kind of cold and windy, and you hear a lot of horns beeping and mm -hmm. things like that. Okay, how high is the fence? How high is the fence? Mm -hmm. The fence is as high as that bookshelf right there that says eighth grade with the globe on it I'm going it's pretty high I'm no no actually it's as high as that black um projector screen that one right there yeah that black tube that has a projector screen in it i can't even I touch the top I'm oh well going, i'm going on the this i'm telling everybody i'm going we'll to just say to everybody just say everybody? hey everybody let's do Backward rolls. <laughs> you know? Everybody. Can you close the door? Everybody, Seven. I'm going to go. Adele, uh, and it's Fahad to do that. He has Fahad to do that. Not you. Well, I have to ask. I'm going, everybody, I'm going to go up. I'm going to fly up and look over the fence. So really? Else is gonna do that. Oh no, me not. No. If anyone ever wants to say something to your teammate, you can. Mm -mm. Um, yeah, uh, what I think is like, is it uh, is like the uh, she uh, green shield? Like, could you kind of like make holes? Is it like durable? Uh, some areas have holes in them. Yeah, you know, oh, yeah. You, they do that so that the wind doesn't blow it off, so air can get through it. So there are some areas with holes this big. Okay, I'll just yeah, so do the hole. You take a look through the hole, and you see a lot of dirt with broken pieces of concrete <clears throat> you see some excavators in there with big shovels uh, uh, looks like part of a wall broken down and um, a lot of garbage and wooden dumpsters all over the place full of building material all right yes. your turn um i think i'm gonna use my, my own. Oh, okay. <laughs> Split personality. Um, well, you can't just use splits. your split personality. Okay, let's let's. Did you read how yeah. that personality comes of, comes she, about? She, it just says that uh, Jean Mary is a classic paranoid. That is, she has two distinct personalities within the same body. Aurora is a superhuman, very sure of herself, dominant, powerful. Jean Mary is meek, shy, submissive, and a nice Whenever uh, Aurora takes damage, make a yellow psyche feet roll. Failure. Say that again. Whenever what? Whenever Aurora takes damage, make a yellow psyche feet roll. Mm -hmm. a failure indicates that uh, the Jean Mary persona has come out on top. She will neither fight or nor use her superpowers for the remainder of uh, the battle. Okay. See, what this is trying to explain to you, I, if you've never read the Alpha Flight comic book, 
when she's as Aurora, the superhero, she's very confident and she's able to do a lot of things. But when she is, you know, shy and whatnot, what is, you know, it, it's, she really can't change it. It just happens under stress. Okay, so right now you're, you're a superhero that's undercover. Got it? So if you change, you can't make yourself change necessarily. It just happens under stress. Well, I want to split personality. Well, my dear, you don't understand fully what I'm saying. And that is, the personality splits under stress. People with split personalities are unstable. They're, they're sometimes called you're... crazy. You know what I mean? I want to be careful how I word it because it's not nice to make fun of other people who have problems of the mind. But it's like if you could imagine, you know how people will have an asthma attack? Yeah. And all of a sudden, they'll stop able to, unable to breathe. Well, some people lose control over their minds and they have their personality, they turn into something else, okay? So you can't just split because I want to split my personality. That's just like someone saying, I'm going to have an asthma attack. It only happens okay? when you're stressed. Okay. All right. So are you not going to do anything? No. And you, you, the two big buildings, I'm going to go huh. inside. The one okay, you're going to have to climb over the fence to do that. Don't. I have flight. No, no. Okay. No, no. If you have something to say, just say it to your it's teammates. Because they're going to see you. Yeah. And uh, I'm it gonna says I can power. fly at incredible speed. Uh, you you have so to wait. It, it has to go around just two like more times. Blur. Then your power and works. No, There's they probably they they probably see, and there might be mutants nearby. Oh, no. no, it's uh, uh, we're not. I have non-detection to uh, due to an experimental transformation. Or it cannot be detected by any mutant detection devices, including Serbior or the Sen. Tenuous. Cerebro or the Sentinels. Yeah. That okay, but what that is, is those are people who seek out mutants. What they're trying to tell you is that if people on the street see this woman fly up over a fence, it's going to attract attention to you. Do you understand? Yeah. You, don't, you could be a mutant or you could be... It doesn't matter. Some psycho person. It doesn't matter. When they see a woman flying over a fence it's crazy. on a busy street, you're going to blow your cover. Now remember what I said. You guys are undercover. Right. Okay, you yes. are undercover government agents investigating something. Now... If you want to reveal your powers, I highly recommend that you only do it if you're under attack. Now, he can do it subtly, you know, because he's got his little pouch and whatever. And he, you know, people just think maybe he's got tobacco in there or something. Yeah, me too. Or he just got, like, candy or french fries. And me too. <laughs> okay? Because right? I do it in my head. Right. You, you know, so, but know. you have to be very careful about Especially using your powers right now okay you. it's your turn I'm not blind to my you gotta switch or actually let, let's let him go and then okay. then you go. all right uh could i could i check uh can i call oh. heather certainly beep 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 boop pop 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 Ring, 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 ring. Hello? Uh, Heather? This is the voicemail of <laughs> Heather Hudson. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna like, uh. <laughs> I don't know what like. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going to. Yeah, go insp uh, inspect around the area, see if there's any unusual things. All right. And you inspect around the area. What does that mean? You're going to climb over the fence. You're going to walk around the block. What walk are you going to walk? Okay. All right, so you go for a walk. I go. I go with, the walk with him. Someone's going to go with him? Yeah, I want to go with him. All right. 
You you put puck in your pocket. <laughs> no. No. Not, no. <laughs> Just kidding. Sorry. I had to do that. <laughs> okay, so you two are gonna go for a walk around the block. Okay. What you gonna do? Like I was going to no go. Legs. I am going to do my uh, be still in form and break over the fence. No, 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 no. 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 you're gonna blow your cover. Don't do okay, that. Okay, I won't do it. I'll just go for a block with them and I'll put on my body armor. No, no, no you're gonna break uh, down your cover. No, okay, I won't do anything. I'll just go a, a block. A walk with them around the block. Okay, I'm gonna jump. All right, that's fine. You'll join them. So uh, you are you are with him, and and so uh, you all uh, are walking around the block. All of us, whole team. No, you, you these, you three. Mm. Yeah. You're walking around the block? Yeah. Oh, okay. Alright. Do I have to roll again? Uh, no. You're still conjuring up that that uh, successful power. So. The magic spells. my turn or, uh, Well, you don't really lose your turn. You're, you're busy. Yeah. It takes so. three turns. So Someone's gonna it takes have to cover him. Well, he's sitting there. You know, he's like... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Little boy. Mm -hmm, he's gonna be mm -hmm. used to look, be looking at his... Magic thing, and then well, yeah, he's he knows how to do it. He's skilled. No, no, but what if someone comes behind him? Yeah, could be. Are you are you doing this quietly, discreet, discreetly, working on your spell? Yeah. Okay. All right. I am going. <laughs> I'm going to go to, to see if there's a if there's a play. Suddenly, you hear this bell. Ding, ding, ding. This bell? Bell. A bell. Alarm bell. Like right behind you. I'm gonna turn around and see what it is. It's this it's this woman with a bike and there's a little trailer behind it with two children in it riding by. And they're about to collide into you. Roll. I'm, I'm gonna dodge. Roll. You're gonna dodge. Okay, roll. You do karma. What's your agility? Uh my agility. Excellent. And you this rolled and you get run off. <laughs> Alright, she collides into you. <gasps> And she collides right into you. you. Fall to the ground, and she her bike tips over. The children are okay in the trailer. And you, oh, oh my goodness! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Oh. Thank you. Minus fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, not like some. All right, so she gets up and, and she's. Are you sure you're okay? Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I really shouldn't be riding on the sidewalk. I know. And then she goes on. Okay, so you were gonna do something? I am going to look. I'm going to go across the street and go to see. I'm going to look for a Chase Bank. There is no Chase Bank. What's a Chase you, you just. You want a bank? Well, I mean, you want to look for a bank? Uh huh. Okay. Why? Um, there's, there's no bank that you can see. That you can I, identify. I'm going to wait for the red light for the cars passing by so I can watch. <laughs> okay. Alright, so you take your walk across the street and uh, there's no bank across the street. I'm going to start walking. Mr. Eric? No, I'm I going think that's to too long. I know. I'm okay, yeah, that's it. You're across the street. Mr. Eric? Okay. Sorry. Um, Master, uh, what yes. day? No, I'm talking to the game master. Yes. I need you to use the Oh, please go. Yeah. <laughs> what what, day, please wash your hands when you're done. What day and what time is it? Today? No, um, in the game. It's December 17th, 2010. Like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or what? Friday. <laughs> what time? So, uh, what time is it? It is in the game, it's 5 o'clock. Yeah. You only have when does it's very it busy. Out. Lots of cars, when lots of traffic. When does schools start and when does it end? School. <clears throat> could could you could you go with him, please? He's gonna make sure the light goes on. It's a it, it's a motion detector. You just gotta dance in there. You know? <laughs>
<laughs> what time and what, what time and what day does it end? School? Yeah, school. In that area? <coughs> uh, usually, you know, 3.30. Um, but but that's what you know. You, you probably have to ask people. Um, okay, I'm going to ask anyone I find about the news. Okay. What time and what Let's see, there's a bunch of people times. walking down the street. So you're going to have to decide... Can I have those dice, please? You don't probably say because people are going to think you want to steal kids. Okay, you I'm see... Not, I'm a teacher. I can just... You see a man a walking down the street with a... Uh, <coughs> a sword on his belt. And you see... A, a, a woman with a hat and watery eyes. And you see uh, a plain looking person. What does she do? Just walking down the street. <laughs> Which one do you want to ask the question to? The plain person. Okay. Can you close the door? It, is it okay? You got it? Can okay. you close the door? It's all right. There's no one out there. It's all right. Your mom isn't noisy. Um, okay. You're going to talk to the plain dressed person? Yes. Okay. And. Are you walking up to them? What are you doing? I'm going to walk up to them. Okay, you stand in front of them. I'm the plain speaking person, plain looking person. Um, hi. Uh, do you know where the nearest school is? <gasps> He's deaf. He. I'm going to go to the watery eyed woman. She's gone. Like I said, there's a lot of people walking down the street. Well, then, uh, I you see another person that smells like alcohol. Don't He's, drunk. He's drunk. Don't talk to him. They're gone. <laughs> <laughs> you see another one walking down the street with this real slinky looking dog. <laughs> no, the dog is going to bite with you. With a leash. No. Real short looking dog. Is there any other option? <laughs> well, that was your turn. <laughs> while, that, while that person, you saw another person say, Ah, shoo! Okay. I'm All right. Right. So, um, These people are minor freaks. Are you, uh, who, what am I? What are you? What am I? Okay, you're 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 on the street. You didn't go for a walk, did you? Or did you? No. Did you say you were going for a walk? Yeah. Oh, you did. Okay, so you guys are now on the on the. You just turned the corner. You're coming up to an alley. Oh, uh, what do I see? Uh, right now you see what looks like a drugstore and um, a big garbage truck backing into the alley and of course more cars and people and bicycles Wait, uh, on the street. I, I wanna, I'm gonna roll my intuition and um... Excuse me. <laughs> oh, it's not your it's turn. turn. Unless he talks to you, as you know, just wait your turn. Hmm. Where's the shaman? Shaman is in front of the 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 fence on, on the other you're you're already a third around the block. Can, I, uh, can I use my oh no just walk to me i'm gonna oh, just walk are you okay can you're you leaving them me? are yeah. you guys going with him he's going to walk back no i'm gonna go walk Run. you're gonna go walk back to where you were no i'm gonna just take a break i'll take a break too. basically okay skip. so you're just gonna stay in there skip time Okay, you just stand there. All right, so. Hello. Take it easy. <laughs> okay, we got five minutes. You are not with them. If you're going to suggest anything, you have to do it to to him and him. Okay. I'm going to roll. No, 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 no. That's that's when you have your turn. If you want to talk about a strategy, you could talk with them. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, uh, what are you doing? You're with him, right? Yeah. So he's just standing around. He doesn't know what to do. Okay. Uh. All right. Let, let me see. I think you all are getting a little distracted. So here's the game master stepping in to intervene. Listen, you two. Yeah. No fingers in the mouth. Yucky. <laughs> um, 
you all are here to look for a man named Justin Hammer at a certain address. Oh. You cannot find the address, but your intuition tells you you're in the right spot. What should you do to find out if oh, you're at that you. address? Oh, can I, okay? can I go to the drugstore and ask the, like, the front No, 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 no. No, could I, like, I'm are going you going to, to the drugstore? I'm okay, the ding, drug store. door opens up. Yeah. Ah, welcome, welcome to Jed's Drugs. What can I do for you? Wait. Yeah, do you know, uh, I'm kind of lost, I'm um, looking for somebody. Do you know a guy named Justin Hammer? No. Where does he live? Uh, like we uh we were looking uh we he gave us his address and uh his uh his friend told us to give him what's, his what's address. address it's uh are you guys together yeah Mohammed, if you're with him you can talk to him from there the dog he didn't didn't blow his, your cover he didn't mention his friend's name oh phew what yeah. what what's the address maybe I can tell you where it is uh, uh, three seven five one East Ontario, Canada. Oh my gosh! Oh, that, those are the Regal complexes. Ugh. Yeah, that burned down a week ago. Oh. The whole place burned down. Oh. So it was a five alarm fire. It was burning so hot. They just recently um, just started. It cooled down enough for them to start cleaning it up just this week. Okay, so thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Walks away. Okay. I'm going to call Heather Hudson. Okay. Baby, baby, baby. Ring, ring. What's going to happen? Yes, Heather Hudson. Thank you for calling the voicemail of Heather Hudson. Please leave a message after the beat. All right, whose turn is it? Mine. You're gonna ruin that. It's, it's not turn. even yours. Don't touch it. Oh. Whose turn? No, no, no. It's his turn. Okay. Okay. He went. He shut. The phone. Oh, he did. He was on the phone. Sorry. Go ahead. I'm gonna roll my intuition so to see if there are anything suspicious. Okay. Man roll. <laughs> Come on, roll, roll, roll. Um, 61. Okay, so your intuition is excellent. You rolled a 61. There's nothing uh, strange, suspicious going on. Oh, thank you. Oh, Except something like tells you I'll better move on. Since it's a third turn, do I get to see? Ah, yes. So you, your spell was supposed to help you see what again? Uh, if there was anything underground. You said uh, I could see. Yes, there's the I, only thing I could have the Earth's eyes. That's right. The only thing that you saw was gas lines and plumbing leading to where the uh, building was that burned down. You understand what 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 happened, right? Yeah. Should we, hey, should we go so over? So you 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 guys go need over. to get together and. Is this is okay? This place uh, an apartment? Yeah. Yeah, that's the place. The address that he gave is the place that burned down. The whole place burned down. Where you were standing is nothing but rubble. What's rubble? Is there any rooms inside? Are there it's, 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 it's rubble. It's been totally burned down. There was a part of a broken wall, remember? Behind the fence, she took a look. Can we go? There could be an invisible oh. place. Can we go? Do you, want to, do you want to go behind the fence? I'll go. Okay, so well, I think I know how we can get past the Probably there fence. Probably that underground super hideout. I know what we're doing. Okay, of the so earth. let's just say everyone's back together now. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And now you talk with each other. Um, guys, You've got I, one minute <gasps> okay. to discuss what you want to okay, do. Guys, and I, then I, think I know what to do. I have um, light burst, and it says that I can. Uh, uh, if I use it, it can blind people. Blind the workers? Mm -hmm. There's nobody working there. It's past 5 o'clock. There's no. <gasps> You guys, you guys, I love to I don't I, 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 I really highly recommend that you all follow the instructions from Heather Hudson. Okay? Uh, what? what was the instruction from Heather Hudson? Look for Justin Hammer. At the address, right? 
Did guys, you find him at the address? No. no. Did you find anything at but the guys, address? No. Okay, what's at the address now? Rubble. rubble. Do you think Justin Hammer is sitting around no. in a pile of rubble in a burned down apartment complex? No. Okay, so what's the next step? When we use Go it, to he might the be hiding. We felt that he, this was the right place. Okay, what is... What is the I'm next gonna... step of the mission Go that Heather Hudson Go gave you? To Go bail to... our friends out. No. no. What? To uh to go to the uh like this <laughs> uh to go to the uh power plant. Thank you. The what? No problem. The, the power plant. Oh, oh yeah.